All right, I didn't see a tutorial on this exact use case, so I figured that I would make one, but the problem is when you're trying to generate two characters, uh, sometimes after a high res fix or late in upscale, the eye color is wrong. You see Tifa, I know her very well, she has deep crimson eyes, and these are closer to brown. Okay, so the question is, how do we get a prompt for each individual face? Most people probably would want to use the face detailer node, but unfortunately that only allows you to use one prompt for every detection, and we need a different prompt for each face. So how do you do that? The answer that I came up with is the picker sags node. Okay, so in order to set this up, we need this. We need a, a B box detector. I'm so glad it understands misspellings now. B box detector, so crop factor to 1.1 to make it go fast. Plug this in here, this in here, and we cannot use the face detailer node for this. We have to use a regular detailer. So we set up our detailer, plug the segs in, plug in the image, and we need a prompt. Text encode, clip text encode prompt. All right, we have a prompt. So the first race we're gonna do is gonna be Aerith. So Aerith face, deep aqua eyes. Probably uh, looking at viewer, why not? Plug that into the positive prompt and then we're going to get a preview image over here. Put this to fixed. So as you can see, there's there's nothing because we haven't actually picked the sags yet. So we're going to use the pick function to pick Aerith's face, all right? So now it's index one. As far as I understand, uh, the way the indexes work is it goes from top to bottom and then left to right. So whatever face is highest is going to be the first one. Or whatever face is highest and most left will be the first one. No, no. Whatever face is highest will be the first one. And then it goes from left to right after that. So high and then left to right. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, I'm sure Lieutenant Dr. Data is going to correct me in the comments. I hope I'm right about this. All right. But yeah, anyway, so you do that. We picked her. We do this, now it'll only generate on the Aerith face, which is what we want, okay? So now in order to do Tifa, we need a second setup. So we basically do the same thing, plug this in here. We need a new B-Box detector, but we can still use the same detector provider. Thankfully, plug that into here, plug, come on, go in there. Image goes to here, this goes to here, sags to sags, and now we need a new prompt. Deep. Crimson eyes, Tifa face, and then we preview image. Is it set to fixed? Fixed, fixed. All right, cool. So we fix that. Hold on, wait. So it's still detecting Aerith, so we need to unselect her and then go to Tifa now. So now it's number two. You do, I've noticed you do sometimes have to babysit this because there have been a few times where you select the face that you want, but it'll inpaint the other one. So just make sure in the preview that it's actually doing the right thing. So now everything's good. We have we have aqua eyes, deep crimson eyes. They look fine. All right, perfect. Uh, something else you can do with this. Another trick is different facial expressions. I mean, like, whatever. Drunk, blush, happy, and then for Tifa, embarrassed, sad. I can't spell. Embarrassed, sad. Now we'll generate. It'll give it'll give Eric some blush, and this one will make Tifa sad, embarrassed. See, easy. Props for each indi individual face, just use the sex picker node. All right, cool, bye.